saseni karibuni sana kwa video yetu ya leo leo tutaendelea na functions na tutaangazia function calling katika user defined function last video tulisoma juu ya function definition in c program ili tutumie function ni lazima tuite ile function ili ifafanue hiyo function katika ile program so we have to call a function so that it can perform its task sawa sawa katika program wakati program inaitwa or when you call a function sasa it transfers its control yani ina transfer ile udhamini wake wa program katika ile function inaitwa ukimaliza kutangaza na kueleza ile program sasa tunaweza ita ile program yani when you finish declaring and defining a function sasa you can call that function una call the function ukitumia the name of the function na ile parenthesis na mwisho semicolon so hivyo unaweka ile semicolon mwisho so you declare and define then you call a function tumesema kuna kuanga na declaring a function tumesoma juu ya declaring defining na sasa tunasoma juu ya calling uwezi ita function kabla u declare na u define ku declare ni kutangaza unatangaza ni kona hii sawa sawa unasema ni kona x and y sasa unatangaza then una define ku define ni kuelezwa unaieleza unaeleza ile function yako hii function kazi yake ni nini unataka iongeze namba unataka i divide namba unataka i print kitu hivyo una unaeleza juu ya hiyo function kwa hivyo ndio uweze kuita sasa ku call ni kuita kuita ndio uweze kuita ile function lazima kwanza utangaze uko na function na uieleze ueleze juu ya hiyo function ndio uweze kuita ile function so you declare you define then you call So you don't call a function that is not declared and defined. Sawa sawa. Sasa katika program ukiita ile function itapeleka control to the function definition. Alafu function definition ikimaliza kusema kazi hiyo function ile control inarudishwa tena kwa main function kwa sababu main function ndio inafanya ile execution of the program that is where execution of the program starts and ends. So When you finish with the defining a function it has to go back to the main function where it has to return the control ya hiyo program lazima irudishwe kwa main function syntax ya main function ni function name parameter list alafu unaweka semicolon kwa hivyo unachukua ile jina ya function alafu una unaweka parenthesis alafu unaweka semicolon mwisho sasa katika user define function tulisema kuna vitu tatu zinafanyika una declare function una define function alafu unaita ile function you call a function so hapa tunaona ku declare function in your syntax return type function name parameter list alafu unaweka nini semicolon alafu ukimaliza ku declare function you define a function kwa hivyo tulisema ku define a function unaanza na return type function name parameter list alafu una create ile the body of the function hapo unaweka zile statement sasa unataka katika ile unataka ile function ni i perform so this one is defining a function after that you call a function sasa una call a function inside the main function sasa unaita ile function tumesema ukiita function hapa hiyo function inapeleka control to the define function na leta hapa alafu hii define function iseme vile function itafanya imalize ku kutekeleza ile statement ziko pale inarudisha control back to the main function ndio execution of the program iishe so we have the declaring calling and defining a function tutaenda kwa code block tuandike hii program ndio tuelewe juu ya user defined function tumesema katika user defined function tunaanza na declaring a function kwa hivyo we will declare a function int multiply bracket int a a comma int b na mwisho tunaweka nini semicolon alafu tunaenda tunafanya nini tuna define a function sasa tunaweza copy this one the way it is kwa sababu tulisema inafanana na hii ni semicolon ya tuweki tu. Tuna copy. 
to the paste palette and then we put the braces so that we can create the body int result semicolon then result is equals to a times b semicolon then return result semicolon then after that we call a function so that we end up with the main function so inside the main function to turn and I could declare int x comma y comma sum semicolon then we want to print something on the screen enter two numbers enter two numbers then after that we scan the number scan scan f brackets then we put the percentage d another percentage d we put comma and sign x comma and sign y because we have here x and y don't worry about the x and y we will talk about in the next video then sum is equals to multiply into brackets x comma y then at the end you put a semicolon then we take the statement that we want to bring the output so we want to after calculation we want to print something on the screen sum is equals to percentage d comma sum don't worry about this x and y we have introduced x and y instead of a and b we will talk about this later just know that here we are calling a function here we are calling a function So we are calling this function multiply we have declared here declaring a function of multiply and here we have defined a function of multiply so in our example to make a multiply numbers but just here we have said multiply so we save the program we build the program We have zero errors and zero warnings, so we run the program. So the first thing is in a kwambia enter two numbers. So imekuja up ika ikangalia kwa main function because our execution in anzanga kwa main function. We even asema enter two numbers. So to na enter five, enter that is the first number. The next one is seven, enter. Then it calculate sum. So on this program we started by declaring we declared a function tukasema hapa ni int multiply we created a function multiply na tukatengeneza the parameter list hapa int a na int b then here we defined the function tuka tukasema kazi hiyo function ni multiply results is equals to a times b then hapa tukaita hiyo function tukuita tulisema unaita na jina ya function Unaeka parenthesis alafu semicolon. Don't worry about the names of the parenthesis. Ama hapa tumeka x and y badala ya a and b. 
So we will talk about this later. Just know that here we have called the function. Na hiyo function vene tumeita hapa, tuka, tuka sema display sum. Hapa tumesema sum is equals to function calling. So we are calling sum is equals to the that function we are calling. Inaita, it calls the function. Kwa hivyo, hii program ina, inaita function. Kwa hivyo, itaenda kwa function, iangalia function kazi yake ni nini ya hii function into a multiply ni kukakulate multiplication. Kwa hivyo, itakakulate multiplication ya A and B. So itakuja hapa, itupatia results. Seme, results ni A times B ni the value that we entered. We entered two value. Kwa hivyo ni 5 times 7. So sum is equals to 35. Tumeenda kwa code lock, tukandika hii program, make sure you write the code correctly and you understand every step. Asanteni sana kwa kunisikiza, mkumbuke kulike hii video na msubscribe kwa hii channel.